Hello everyone. So today we will talk about this another problem. This is next greater element part two. I hope you have seen the part one for this one because that is the prerequisite for this question, and you will understand the better if you have seen that video. Okay. So let us uh, read the description. What it says. So given a circular integer array. Okay, that is nums. Okay. The next element, the next, uh, the next element of nums. Dot uh, nums of nums dot line minus one is nums of zero, which means at the last. The next element is nums because it is circular. We are it is not actually circular, but it is behaving like a circular. Okay, return the next greater element for every element in the nums. Okay, and the next element of the x is the first greater element to its traversing order next in the array. Which means if you could circle, if you could search circularly to find its next greater element, if it doesn't exist, return minus one for this number. Okay, so I hope you've seen that uh, nums one and uh, next greater element part one. In that we have discussed, like for the um, in in a simple array, if we are given some values at the initial, so that will be uh, having the next element towards the right. But for the, for this one, for this problem, we can have that the last element, greater element, will be towards the very beginning of the array. That can also happen, right? So that is the basic difference here in this case. Example here is one to one. Okay. So for one, which is the next element, which is two here, and for the two. We don't have any next element that is we are putting minus one because in in array there is no in nums array there is no element which is greater than two so that's why it is for sure that it is going to be having minus one but for the one in the last question we have seen that it will be minus one but here in this case it is not minus one it is going to be uh, going again to the initial position which is zero and then a uh, starting position is zero and then it will check for the two so you can see we have next element is two for this one behaving like a circular. And for this example, we one, two, three, uh, four, three, for two, we uh, for one we have two, for two we have three, for three we have four, for four we have minus one because for the greatest greatest element here, for the three we have again four, correct? Because if you go three and you will go like one, two, three, four, it will check and four is the greatest element here. So let us see how we can uh, solve this problem. Okay, I will explain this problem on the uh, whiteboard. Let's go there. So let us try to discuss the uh, approach here. So in this, uh, we will be solving this problem into two ways. Okay, first way is the pre-processing of our stack. Okay, pre-processing the array basically, and the second part is comparing. Okay, and doing the three operations and doing three operations. So what are the three operations? First is the pop operation, which we normally do. Then we'll be having our uh, answer creation, okay. And then we will be having pushing into our stack, okay. So these are the three operations. So uh, let's see what we are going to be, how we are going to be doing. So first thing is pre-processing the array. So for the uh, how we'll pre-process it. So before we'll be doing this. So we'll start our iteration from here, okay. For this last one, so nums minus two basic nums dot length minus two, we'll push our dash value as four. Okay, so th this is again the three steps. Uh, pop answer creation will uh, skip for the first part. Okay, for the first part, this is uh, like um, steps. So we'll call that as one step, and this is second step. For the first step, we'll skip the answer creation. We'll just uh, pop and push it. Okay, depending upon the values. So first value we have four. We'll push that into our values. Okay, now uh, we are going to be checking for the three. So three, we can see that three is smaller than this. So we'll not be will not be able to pop this four. We'll just put three above this, and we'll be having two. So two also will be pu pop, uh, pushing about this. For the one also, we'll be having one at the top. So we have already this this, and uh, we have created this stack. With this stack we are going to be using for our uh, not uh, normal way which we do. Okay. So now this is the step two. In step two, we'll be again doing the three operations. Now we'll be starting from uh, nums dot length minus two only. From here we'll start num minus one basically. Okay. So this is nums dot length minus one, and we'll we'll start from here basically, not from here, because for the three also we need to check. Because in the last in the part one, what we did we'll start from here because we are sure that for this minus one will be the answer. But for this we are not sure minus one is not. Might be or might not be answer. If it is the greatest element. Like eight or something, it can be minus one. 
but for the other cases it will be some other element from the beginning of the array so for the three for the three we'll start our uh, we'll start doing the looking here so for the three we'll check you know is there any uh, top of the stack if th three is there so three we'll see for one two three and four is there right so uh, for one uh, for three we will see that the value is at the top of the stack is smaller than smaller than three so we'll pop, pop it so we'll pop this we'll pop this and we'll even pop this so four is remaining so four will be uh, will be the answer for this okay so for the three we'll be having the answer i'll be adding your answers so one two three four and three and this is our answer okay and which will be having nothing but for the three will be having the value as four which is the top of the stack so first we will be having pop pop operation we did now we will be having answer creation answer creation is 4 and pushing the element pushing the element will will be will be pushing 3 again here on the top of this okay so that we have done now for the next part uh, we will go and search for the fourth one uh, for the 4 if, if we have any uh, greater element towards the right so uh, first we will do the pop operation so pop operation means 3 will be popping out for 4 also will be popping out the reason being that 4 is equals to the top okay because 4 when we pop uh, pop, pop operation basically we do when we have the at the top of the stack the element is smaller than our current element so current element is 4 smaller or equal okay so 4 is there right so 3 is smaller than that and 4 is equals to 4 so we will be popping both of the element so popping is done answer creation will do for 4 if so if stack is empty will put minus one okay and our answer creation and pop pushing will be doing like again we'll be pushing the four at the top of the stack so only i have your four at the top of the stack these elements are not there in this now again we'll go and uh, do this for three so three we'll see the operation four is the right four element is the four which is greater than this three so we'll not pop it we'll just push the uh, we'll, uh, we'll not do the pushing operation but pop will not happen answer creation we'll see for answer creation we will be having 4 and for the pushing operation we will be having this 3 at the top of this 4 ok that it is done for the 2 for the 2 we will be seeing again the value at the top of the stack is greater than that so we will not be able to pop anything for the creation part we will be having 3 ok and then for pushing operation we will be having 2 for the 1 we will again be doing not be able to pop anything because other are greater than that so first is the pop element no, not doing anything answer creation will be putting answer creation will be put in the top of the stack which is 2 ok and uh, that is this pushing operation will do push that is done stack will be having some values like all those values are there but answer we have created so let us cross verify so for the 1 we have 2 element is greater so the 2 is there for the 2 we will be having 3 so 3 is there for 3 we have 4 for 4 we have minus 1 because nothing is greater than for the 3 we will be having the 4 ok it goes and check here it is the 4 this greater than this 3 so that is why 4 is there here. So, this is which is correct answer. So, this is the approach that we are going to be using. Uh, let us try to write the code for this in our code editor. So, let us write the part for uh, code for this. So, first we are going to be finding the length, okay, that is nums dot length, okay. And the first thing we, we are going to be doing is making the stack because that is where we are going to be storing the values. So, stack will be pushing the integer values let us call that a stack as st equals to new stack ok so this we have created our stack here ok now first thing is that we need to pre-process it and how we are going to be pre-processing so for that first we are going to be iterating from n minus 2 ok and nums minus 2 to the very beginning of this code ok very beginning of this array so we will start our iteration from n equals to uh, n minus 2 ok i greater than equals to 0 ok i minus minus ok and then what we are going to be doing for we will be doing uh, two, uh, 2 operations only that is popping and pushing so we will be having this one if st dot size is greater than 0 which means we have something in the element to pop it uh, if something goes something wrong and we will be writing st dot peak element if the top element is smaller 
if the top element is uh, smaller than our uh, smaller than our uh, current element okay if it is current element is num dot num dot i if it is the case then we will be pushing uh, that will be popping our element so st dot pop correct right because at the top of the stack the value should be greater if it is smaller if it is smaller than that then we will be popping it that is the, the correct approach then we, and uh, after that what we will be doing we will be simply pushing that values so st dot push or values will be nums of i not nums of 1 nums of i ok this is the pre-processing now we are going to be uh, again doing the same thing but here in this case we will be starting from very end which is nums dot minus 1 not 2 ok and i greater than equals to 0 ok i plus plus or not i minus minus and then again we will be doing 3 operations this time first operation is same only that uh, will be checking this thing the, I'll just copy paste it so I'll be checking if sd dot empty um, if a stack is empty it is not empty then we'll be seeing this operation num stop i then we'll be popping it and the second part is okay so yeah so we'll be doing this operation now here we are also make need to make an answer array we, we can make like this answer array equals to new int of size n okay and then we'll be doing the answer creation step which is answer of i equals to if our stack is empty so we'll write something like if stack is empty okay or we can write something st dot size if equals to equals to 0 then we will push minus 1 else what will push at uh, will add the peak element ok that is it and pushing operation will be done that is for sure and once it is this is done we will just return that answer from here return answer ok so that is it now let us try to run the code It is successfully accepted. Let us try to submit the code as well now. So this is successfully accepted the solution. So that's it for this video. I hope you got the basic idea of uh, both of the problems. Okay, uh, part one and part two. Uh, so that's it for this video. We'll meet in the next video with the such problems. Thank you for watching.